I'm gonna learn Expelliarmus! Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. It's not a Vatica. I mean, it's on the bottom of the list. We'll get there at some point. What are you up to now? Look at it. It's it's like one of the last ones. It's gonna take a while. Like Spelliamus is like up here. And then you hear Harry Potter being like, you know, Expelliarmus saved me from Voldemort. This is an amazing class. I am loving it. Amazing. Best class ever. I learned a lot. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. <gasps> Pesnik! The hell are you wearing? It requires a focused mind and Do you not like my glasses? Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in <laughs> the glasses where um You know the explanation for Levioso? Uh, the what I've been told is that Levioso just makes you levitate something and it's like it's just there levitating and when Guardium Leviosa you can move things while you levitate it. I still don't like it. We're going to Herbology class. Look at the planties. Aren't they cute? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. You wouldn't call them, contradict oh, them. Hello. It says more of spells that were lost or are no longer used, you know? In our garden. Interesting. We do look forward to growing together. I miss Professor How Sprout already. It is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Aww. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. <gasps> I'm ahead of you. Now then, today we will be a. I've been like in three classes. What do you mean? Tuba known as the mandrake root. Ah, uh, we're doing Thank mandrakes. <laughs> Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Oh, what about the puffy things we saw in Harry now, Potter? Everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Wow. I like them. Oh shit. <laughs> Lovely. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right then, off you go. 
Poor Let thing. Work, everyone. Don't you love how they say points to Slytherin, but they don't say how many points. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Oh yeah, where where is the the place where you can see the points of the houses? Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your <laughs> It's hilarious they watching her with those glasses. <laughs> I nearly went I'll say, I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I mean, I was told to buy to some, so, you know. table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Ooh. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Where do we Let's go? Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? The fuck is she talking about? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Should we? Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Do I have a timer? I don't like not having, like, world clock kind of thing. Oh, 10 minutes. Okay. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, oh, we'll I, we I wonder how out, introduce you to our a potion different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. I don't think I've ever the seen these cabbages. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to... Pruitt? Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be Leander. showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. My lead. It's like you don't know nice where you're going, but dark arts, by the way. you go. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, I have a fan. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Oh, that <sighs> typical time. Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. I'm just stealing all the things. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. How do I toss a cabbage at the dummy? L1? Oh! Oh! Look at that! I can't put anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, Ooh. but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Oh, Vicious interesting. little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I was imagining it already. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. 
even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't I heard. Off throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the Ooh, idea. Like what? Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh my god, what happened to the freaking cabbage? Can I take more? I'll just take them all. Don't mind. Oh, what is that? What was that? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, they're dirigible plums. I didn't even notice. That's awesome. Orange radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary that totally makes sense i want them i want them all <laughs> i thought i heard a key was i imagining it well what else we have here i have venomous tentacula Itchers potion and the rest is locked. Oh, what is this? Yes, I love finding money because I have no other way of making it. I'm a broke student. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves i shall end our lesson here terribly sorry mr clopton i i don't understand <laughs> why why is a student just picking up letters from professors and, and no one cares dear professor garlic i don't garlic how very thoughtful of you and to remember that strawberries are my favorite they're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. I actually ordered some mushrooms. Some, oh my god, some mushrooms. Some strawberries. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality. From bitter to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn the skill whilst under your tutelage. Leonora so adores you. As to all of your students, I'm sure. Ah, How sweet. Wait, let me get this. I'll steal all the stuff. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be missing what? Good. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. But those mandrakes are really crunching their new parts. La 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 la. What's next? <gasps> potions class. I always wanted to go to potions class. Am I gonna be disappointed? Should we wait three minutes for the Disney? Now we can go to class. Revelio. Can we go there? <gasps> we can. Oh, it's the teacher's office. Memorandum, 31st of December, 1875, from our office. Subject, Bergen and Bergs. Ooh. Bergen and Bergs has had an increased amount of activity outside of the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. With suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Dun, dun, dun. 
Give what we know of the shop's reputation. We are adding more hours to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new addictions. Further instructions to follow. I didn't know you could be a professor and an R. Is that a thing? Multi job. Rebellion. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As uh -huh. fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Uh -huh. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Ooh. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It Typical can heal Ravenclaw. some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. How many Before points? I'm so completed, annoyed at this. Each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. It's worse than Snape. Where are the instructions? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Done. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Ooh. That's a big spoon. We done? What's happening here? I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Have you forgotten how to stir? Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Ooh. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. Jay Pippin! For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Ah, oh, can thank be harvested you, from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Ooh, Come see me when you like finish what? brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. yes. Why? But why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And Brilliant! Because you can be a part of something truly creative. Like I'm what? Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. But a <gasps> prodigy with it's a Weasley! Can I say so myself? Pleasure to meet you. You can see Wait, by the freckles. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll Fooper. already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as Fooper. you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait then why don't you, you buy your own? In. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision is key when <sighs> Oh, that's so cute! I want a Fooper now. stations organized and free of clutter 
Here's the fufa feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. <laughs> concoction. Should you chop the Dittany or Ooh. crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. I'm gonna make Felix Felices. That sounds like fun. I don't like potions anymore. It could be more fun, like actually going through the steps and, you know, doing things. Potions always sounded like a super fun class when it's not picked by, you know, Severus Snape. And I just leave it brewing. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? You're gonna blow up. It's gonna Wait, blow up. It's not supposed it's to blow up. Get it. Get it. Ah. Yo, there's fireworks. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. <gasps> Accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh man. What does that sound? Revelio. Oh. Professor. Oh, he has an ore badge. Ours compromise the ministries, magical law enforcement, and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This R badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Does it does it have his name? I brewed an edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Uh -huh. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are oh, often we should go there to and the potions the, you brew here. The thing. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Where would you recommend me doing such brewing? I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Scope's last... Oh, oh Scrope. She's second to you and... Say his name right. Scrope. What the hell is called Scrope? That poor house elf. Where, where did I just leave a marker? Can I remove? There you go. Um, no, that's not it. Oh, there you go. It should be ready by now, right? How nice to see you, my young friend. I was like, what the hell is talk? Wait, did I got the wrong place? I did. Oh, I went for a divination. Duh. Oh. 
my bad. I wanted to come here. Um, was it not in this greenhouse that we left something doing something? I don't know how many greenhouses are there. I remember in Harry Potter there were quite a few. Let's try another one. Oh, it's not this one. This is the one with the plums. Revelio. Nothing else. Ooh, what is that? How do I get there? Oh, it's the hidden airbology shenanigans. I heard a bling. I don't know what bling, but something bling. Okay, I have no idea. Where I left something. That's cool. Oh, this looks nice. Revelio. There's nothing here, though. Where did they have a freaking herbology glass? Oh, I think it was this one. There you go. Oh, it just makes more every 10 minutes. Nice. 